For the questions, we'll give you one by one. We are very many. Let's go. We are starting with the name and the title. Can you give us your views about that? You're welcome. My name is Ambassador Martha Yomar Church. I'm the Deputy Managing Director of Life Control and Operations. And I wanted to tell our Thank <laughs> you. 
started in uh, 2018 in the fourth quarter that's when we began the first um, you know, the moving uh, the soil and uh, digging the foundation and that was right after the results of the soil investigation came uh, this place as majority of people who are living here is rocky and so the foundation was laid um, five meters below the the surface and uh, there is a basement that can accommodate like 50 vehicles down there. The building also in essence is um, a green building where you have three phases of uh, power, that's the city power, uh, solar and generator. It also has an element of uh, recycling of water, uh, rainwater where you capture the, the rainwater, treat it and then recycle it back uh, for whichever purpose that you want. Um, the building also has a sky garden on the top of the um, steel uh, structure. Uh, that's the first three floors that are protruding from the building, uh, if you have a look uh, right there. So uh, today is a very important day because this building was actually constructed with the money of the government of South Sudan. We did not take a loan. Nile Petroleum Corporation did not use any resources from outside um, the coffers of the government. 
So it is 100% owned by the government of South Sudan. The significance of this building for NIPED is that it gives a very good outlook for the company where you are able to meet all the international companies in a presentable uh, you know, location. One, two, it can accommodate NIPED and all the subsidiaries that will be renting from NIPED Petroleum Corporation uh, during which NIPED will be charging them money and will make money in-house. Three is that you can use it as collateral to any uh, credible, credible bank, take a loan and use it in any new business such as the refinery as is stipulated earlier on by the managing director during the occasion. So um, this building will actually encourage all the other institutions of the government in South Sudan but also the private uh, companies and private entities to have a presentable building that will actually change the face of Juba. So this building is very important, it's right in the heart of Juba. You can see it from all the directions. If you are coming from Kajikaji, if you are coming from Gumba Sherkat, you are coming from Bor, you are coming from Jebel Ladu, if you are coming from Meridi, you are coming from Ye, you can see this building. So it's an iconic building and it's a matter of pride that the tallest building in Juba and the Republic of South Sudan is owned by none other than the government of South Sudan. So this building is a magnificent building that will actually last for the next 100 years and that's how it was designed. So uh, I'm very happy to be part of this occasion. Uh, by the time I was leaving, the building was completed by almost 96% and then my uh, successor was able to co complete the other 4%. And uh, it took us five years, uh, up to six years, because we had one year gap uh, during uh, the tenure of one of the MDs. Nothing was done there. I don't want to mention the names. But uh, this building delayed because NIPED also was faced with challenges, including the uh, cash flow coming from the joint operating companies. Because during the shutdown and right after the resumption of production in 2012, uh, some uh, proceeds were going to Minister of Finance. So Minister of Finance was then supposed to reimburse NIPED. So all this money is being deducted by partners and NIPED is able to only receive 35% of its proceeds, which is the challenge that was there to also take care of the other operation matters for payment of staff salaries and all the running costs for the company. So with this said, uh, I would like to once again thank uh, SSBC, uh, Al Jazeera and all the media outlets. We have taken the building up to 96% here are curious, we wanted to know an estimated figure, an estimated amount, just something like that. Well, well, yes, uh, this is a very important question, Mr. Gora Anthony and your colleagues. Um, this building actually, given its unique design and the features that you can see, and what I've mentioned, um, was having a cost of 26 million and 750 thousand. So it was well below 30 million and uh, the hectic time we had was during the pandemic where we having some challenges to repatriate 200 containers at the go from china to south sudan during the covid 19 in 2021 and we had uh, we worked deliberately and you know exerted a lot of effort for these containers to arrive to, uh, to, to Cuba here the reason why we did it like that was actually to ensure that all the materials are on site and from that time the building never stopped. So it's 26.7 million years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anyone?